Buenos Dio Amigos I'm back again with another Skyrim except uh, like I was doing a thing but then it glitched and then and then I was like uh gotta see what's wrong with that so I was about to save my progress my uh video progress and then my computer immediately crashed and um I also think give me a second uh yeah after I defeated Alduin on the top of the throat of the world he fled from me one of his dragon allies may be able to tell me where he's gone I've learned that dragons reach that the Jarl's palace in Whiterun was once used to imprison a dragon I need to persuade the Jarl of White One to help me trap a dragon in Dragon's Earth. Shh. Do you need something? I think she. I think she was causing lag. I'll be at she Castle Volkahar if you need me. Okay, thank you. I think she made. I think she messed something up. So. Okay, so I need to go to here again. White Run. I also liberated. I liberated White Run. So, there's a new Jarl. Well, versus the old one. Damn faithless Imperials. Okay. But I'm I'm cool. I'm cool with re redoing. Mister. White Run once again Whoops. belongs to its rightful heirs. It's a glorious day for Skyrim. Whoops. Yes. But don't forget, I gave you that throne, boy. I need your help to trap a dragon. I must have misheard you. Wow. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my I palace. I did. <laughs> no. Yeah, persuade. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll Me. just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. <laughs> um, it was built. According to legend. Although I never thought to put the tale to the test. We should. Carl Olaf one eye it was, who later became High King. They say he shouted it into submission in single combat atop Mount Anthor. Brought it back to White Run. Numenex was the dragon's name. Numenex. That's his skull decorating the main hall. I need your help still! What you're asking for is insane. No, it's you're insane. insane! You want me to let a dragon into the heart of my city yep. with the threat of war on my doorstep? Mm. It's the only way to stop the dragon attack. There must be another way. The risk nah. is too great. The threat of Alduin is worse. Alduin, That's not what it said. The world eater himself. But how can we fight him? <sighs> Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? It's only hopeless if we give up. I know you didn't say anything about that. I didn't say anything about giving up. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? Yours. It's more mine than yours, boy. It's the only way to find Alduin. I want to it. help you, Dragonborn, and I will. But I need your help first. What do you think the Imperials would be doing while this dragon is busy slaughtering my men? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. What if you didn't have to worry about our enemy? Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme. But getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe... What are the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar yeah. is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. 
Okay, leave that to me, boy. I will speak to Algir. Hi, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Okay, I'm speak to anyway. the old man. Let's go. All alone now. Man, I was expect Serana to be right behind me, but now she would only cause problems. I think. If that might not be the case. Let's just hope it was. Anger! Gizenkite! Going back into Skyrim. Mr. Aldwin, we heard the Dragon Wren shout from here. You defeated him? Yes, but he escaped. I need to find his portal to Sovngarde. I don't remember talking about that, but that might have happened. I might have said that. No, uh, Parthenax. Parthenax probably said that last episode. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. Uh, I need your help to capture our dragon. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. I'll worry about that. I need you to stop the war. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. <sighs> I wish that was true. Jarl Vinger will... Yep. Won't help me while the war rages. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without yes. the Jarl's help. Yep. Both sides respect the Greybeards. They will listen. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember Very us. well. Talk when to those guys. Got you. Okay. Fight! Speak to the people who tried to kill me. Well, Tullius tried to kill me. Ulfric, he was also trying to kill Ulfric. If you recall the first episode, oh, by the gods, what manner of power is that? It is a super belt. A super belt. Oh, frick! My brother! My brother in arms! We'll show those faithless dogs who this land belongs to. Okay. Oh, open. just waking up. Damn dragons! <gasps> Any time. Talius has camps in the Pale, entertaining in the Pale. Battle. The Empire still underestimates the force of our court. I have a message. It will be there from the Greybeards. It's about time they turn their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? I think they want. <laughs> Actually, it's more what I want. Uh, they want to negotiate a truce until the dragon menace is I dealt with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. Indeed. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this. Unless Tullius himself will be there. Frick politics! Alduin has returned! Alduin? Uh -huh. The world eater of song and legend? Uh -huh. If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? It would Even indeed. Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. 
So you'll come? Yes. I'll give Tolius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Good. Get out of my way! Um, now I need to talk to... The dude who tried to kill me! Ooh. What up, bruh? Boy! Infinite stammo. Get out my way! Can I go through? No. Get out my- Oh! Nope. Proud Spire Manor. Now there's a fine home. I'm sure it is. Got it. My cousin's out fighting dragons and what do I get? God duty. Yeah, pretty boring. I trust this is something important. It is. It's about the Greybeards. The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? They're convening a peace council. Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. Bruh. We need a truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Alfred's gonna be there. Has he? I suppose he doesn't want to miss a chance to bluster about the Empire's many crimes. He's probably hoping I'll refuse so he can blame the Empire for being unreasonable. I think I'll have to disappoint him yet again. Oh. So you'll come? Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. Okay. Now talk to Angear. Good. That was done faster than I would have. The Greybeards have hoped. called a peace council at High Rothgar. And can you believe it? Both Ulfric, Stormcloak, and General Tullius. Word does get around very fast to the front door. And gear. Hmm. Not here yet. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here. In these halls, Indeed. the very stones are dedicated to peace. And I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Don't worry, bruh. I'll get him. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Indeed. Asper! Delphi! Mm -hmm. oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 very nice. So, Arn Gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You're not well. invited here. You're not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually since we oh. were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this path. That is true. Where are you? Hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. Delphi, we're not here to rehearse old grudges. The matter at hand is urgent. All doing must be stopped. Are those you new clothes? You this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that Aldwin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. That is true. Uh, very well. You may enter. Then let us go. Discuss politics. Look, everyone's here. Wait, what you? Uh, a Thalmor? 
What is the Tao Maul doing here? What do you have in your pockets? I have no problem with elves. But Tao Maul, unbelievable. Actually, one second. Take your seat and we can begin. I have to. Now <laughs> that everyone is here, please take your seat. I can't get out my seat. So we can begin. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit of so pass by bringing her to this negotiation. Your chief Talos Hunter. That yes. didn't take long. Here, here. Yeah. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Okay. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. <laughs> Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. Yes! I'll take your word for it. I'm glad we agree on this. Yeah. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? Let General us. Tullius, Jarl Ulfric, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open it? The negotiations. Yes. Our terms are simple. Riften must be returned to Imperial yeah. control. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. <laughs> That's quite an opening demand, Tullius. What will you offer for Riften, Tullius? Some empty promises? Maybe some more Imperial bluster? Enough, Galmar. Jarl Ulfric, what would you want in return? First, let me be clear. I know you, Ulfric. You have no intention of coming to terms. You're here to blacken the Empire's name, and I won't be party to it. If you think you can hold Riften, you're as Brit. deluded as you've always been. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Headsman's axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. Is that a threat? As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't Headsman. see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. Hey, respect Esbo! He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Aldrin has returned. <laughs> The World Eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't well. know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know I can't agree to these terms. The Emperor would repudiate this treaty and I would be recalled. I killed the Emperor's sure. bones. Where will these demands end? Out with it then. We want the Pale returned to Imperial control. The, the traitor Skull the Elder will be replaced with a more loyal candidate. What next, Talius? Shall I just hand over all of Skyrim? I guess I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? Okay. Alfred, don't get mad at me at this. You should give over the file. I'm impressed at your even-handed treatment. Thank you. No problem. Come on, Alfred. You have to give a little ground here. The dragons are a threat to us both. Out with it, then. Never mind. I can see that these are the best terms we'll get from this council. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, 
General Tullius? These are the terms currently on the table. Lifton will be handed over to Imperial control. Yarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. Riften? The Empire will allow Ulfric's forces to enter Jarl March. Igrod Ravenkrone will go into exile, with Sorli the Builder replacing her as Jarl. The Pale will be turned over to the Empire. Brynna Merilis will assume the Jarl ship in Dawnstar. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Elisif? Are these terms to your liking? General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. These terms blatantly favor the Rebels. Everyone here knows that. But the Empire will accept them until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. Don't look at me like that. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. You... You just... <laughs> Jarl Vignar, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes, I'm ready to do my part. <laughs> just say so, the word. So, no matter what happened, this, trap. But this is what happened. Remains, how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? That is true, right? Talos, that's an excellent question. I hope you haven't forgotten that little detail. Ah, I believe I can be of help here. Ah, I thought so. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Themp, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing nice. this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Ah, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling oh. the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Oh, why would he come when he's called? Don't answer that. He's not compelled to. But dragons are prideful by nature, and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon. After your victory over Alderaan, I think it's yes. very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. So what's the dragon's name? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in this scroll. Od a wing, winged snow hunter, as I read it. There's one more thing we know about Parthenon. <laughs> There's one more thing we know about Parthenon. When I return no, to Whiterun, this all I'll get my men ready to help trap this dragon. There's one more thing we know about Parthenon. Say that again. Say There's one more thing we know about Parthenax. So what? Turns out he's a dragon. But he helped me. That's fine. We needed his help. Now we don't. And it's long past time for him to pay for his crimes. And he's not Bruh. just any dragon. He was the right hand of Alduin. He committed atrocities so infamous they are still remembered thousands of years later. He I've needs never heard him. to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continued to help you. Kill Parthenax. I saw this Do coming. the right thing. Parthenax deserves to die. If you... <laughs> I guess it slipped me into this. Anyway, off to catch a dragon. <gasps> okay. Take three. Do the right thing. Parthenax deserves to die. No. He doesn't. Nah. You don't. Okay. Take 
three, because I crashed again. Dragon's Reach. Let's get the dragon. Maybe I forget his name again. The truce between the Stormcloaks and Imperials. How long can such a thing last? What? Right. <laughs> So, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> now he's in his room. <laughs> Mr. Y'all, I am ready. Oh. Hey, excuse me. We're ready, Dragonborn. Just say the word. I'm ready. As I promised, my men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. We do it my now. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. I gave this city to you in the first place. It's time, Brill. Bignar and I have our hands full. You must be a thing. Okay. It is time then. Let's go. We're ready when you are. Hopefully. Let's wait till day. Okay. Time to scream at the top of my lungs. Come on. Go oh wait, wrong thing. Naveen. <gasps> Naveen. You do have a plan for luring a dragon here, yeah. Oh, Davin! Hear that? I do, bruh. There he is! Oh, Davin! So we need to get him in that thing. Steady, steady now. Keep under cover Work until it's dragon. down. Come on! Is he taking damage? Only one way to find out! Before I die! <laughs> no! Don't! Headmaster, what? Best deal. Hey, come back! <laughs> You're still good egg, bro. What man? Yes. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go. Come at me. Yeah. Oh. Come at me. Come at me. Come at me. Captured, bruh. 
interrogate. Dude. I think it's holding. Ovuta mid Kodav. Caught like a bear in a trap. Zokfrini grin kogra drun viki. Dovakin. Ah, I forget. You do not have the Dova speech. Can I learn it right? My eagerness to meet you in battle was my undoing, Dovakin. I salute your mm, low cunning in devising such a Gramin Dol strategy. Stratagem. The Ubonar. You went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this humiliating <laughs> position. In Sir Alduin, hmm? no doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. Smart, bruh. That's right. Where is he, bruh? Renik Vaza. An apt phrase. Alduin Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thorn for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his thorn was truly the strongest. Well, I beat him up. Among ourselves, of course. Muni Maie, none were yet ready to openly defy him. You're telling me... You were telling me where to find Alduin? Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain ah, his bro. strength, devouring the Silesur, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovngarde is at Skaldafin. <laughs> One of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Can you fly me there, bro? Mindoran pa ok midove navarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Figured. The ulost ofan hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Do you promise? To serve me, bro? Um? Serve you? No. Me ah. to aid. If and when you defeat Alduin, I, I will reconsider. Hmm. Grossest. Grossest. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. Tell me what you know. Only this. You have the Thurm of a Dova, but without yeah. the wings of one, you will I never get set there. foot in Skaldafen. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. The Fallen. Okay. 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 Look at me. Incredible. Uh, Where'd you come sir, from? you have no idea how long I have waited for such an opportunity. I would be most appreciative if you would permit me to perform some uh, tests on you, purely in the interests <laughs> of the advancement of knowledge. Be gone, mage. Do not test my promise to the Dovahkiin. I assure you, you will not even notice me. Most of them are hardly painful at all to a large <laughs> dragon such as yourself. Foreign guard, very bad idea. Even for you. <laughs> okay. So, you... Surely okay. you wouldn't miss a few scales. Or a small amount of blood. Am I supposed to watch what's happening? Me. What are you doing back there? <laughs> Wait, did that hurt him, bruh? <laughs> oh, idiot! Okay, Odaving. We will let you go. Actually, can I search you? We will let you go. 
if you take me to Skullvar. You have reconsidered my offer, hmm? Onikankron? You will release me, Rolan, if in return I promise to take you to Skaldafen and stop helping Alduin? Yes! Onikan Korav Gaim Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. And you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. That's good. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. Free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. Something to tell the grandkids, huh? <laughs> Open it! You sure about that? You want to let that dragon loose after all the trouble to catch him in there? He wasn't that hard. Your funeral. Someone else is going to have to help you get him back in there again. Get ready to open the trap! This seems like a really bad idea to me. Who cares? Carry on, soldier. This is all part of the Dragonborn's plan. Thank you for having so much faith in me. Was nu? Dini dein Rufi Astwan. Yeah, hold still, bro. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dova can? Are you blind? Sure, bro. Off we go to Dova land. Bro, how is that pop? How did I die? There is like literally nowhere you can go. Unless you get bonked off. Yes, I will not hesitate to go. Let us go. Hopefully, to kill Alduin. But probably not. Saran Uth, I await your command as promised. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dova can? I am Odavin. I'm ready. Take me to Skullendorf. I warn you, once you've flown the skies of Kaisal, <laughs> your envy of the Dove will only increase. Mm, maybe. Amati. <laughs> Let's go! Mubo Kotin Stinselok. Oh, really? Are we going to Sovngarde? Oh, that was quick. This is as far as I can take you. Grief both Akrin. I will look for your return. Or Alduin's. See ya, Odaving. Oh, that was quick. Who sees me? Oh, Draugr see me. Boat. Whooping. Okay. Oh, a, de a death boy. I'll disarm him. Disarm. I will not slowly. He's too powerful, but no way. Oh. Come at me, Death Lord. Ah, what? Wait, who's attacking me? A, a what? Just a random dragon? <laughs> Nothing can stop me except you, maybe. Gah. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Karen. Sirwal. Ow. Ow. Ah, oh. Bro, using ice on me is useless. I am basically invincible. 
Get out, just use it real quick. And hopefully not die. Grip, grip, grip. Wait, what, what was that? No, I said grip, bruh. Grip! Grip! Get out of here! I can't do that to you. Okay. Are you kidding me? Come here, what? Get down on the ground. Right now, boy. I'll go in. Oh. Hey, sit down. You want me to go after you? Sit down, boy. Oh, that's a sneak attack. Ow. Oh. Come here, boy. Come here, Edgehog. That boy. Dragon! Deserved. I'll do it! Nothing will stop me from getting to you! I'll beat you at your highest! Wait, is this another dude? No, are you kidding me? There's another one! Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I thought I was dead. Kick him in the face! Good thing they're just regular dragon. <laughs> Check you right. Yup. I did. I'm sure I can. Actually, where am I on the map? Uh, yeah. This is off the limits. I tried to get here before. But at least. Skulf. Skulf. Now do it. Come me after you, bruh. Wait, what are you fighting, bruh? I was fighting something up there. Banner nanner. Is this an uppy? Shield. <laughs> Death Lord. Bruh, that's not gonna do anything. Yeah, you. The effects. Tell me what. You coward to come after me. Prince Utterly based. Ow. What's this? Ebony battle axe? It's only death were bruh. These things are supposed to be bosses. Instead, they're nothing. But common crony. Is it because of what level I am? Would these just be regular drivers? Ow! Eh. This is priest. Priest material. Is that what I'll be going against? Are we going against. Gold. Oh. Da 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 da. <laughs> the disrespect to ancient Nord. Gold. I do love gold.
I'm a puzzle. Whack! Right. Which side is the right side? Oh, I see. Yeah! Snake. Wait, what? I kill him, bro? I did! Okay. Bird. Snake. Snake. <laughs> Wait, no. Right? No. Do I need to make him snake? Whale. Whatever. Whose bodies? Oh. Whale, snake, that work? Nope. That work? <gasps> nope! That work! There we go. I knew trial and error can do anything. Is that my south uh, my 2000th save? I mean, I've deleted a bunch. And so two paths. Banner and inner. Ah, <laughs> death part again. Oh, it's in here, bro. <laughs> nice try, bro. Right. I'm still going toward a uh, goal. I wonder if I should have taken the other door. The other door. Oh, Daedric Greatsword! I haven't found any Daedric, Daedric weapons before. Hey, someone in here? Wait. I'm going back. I'm going to back the the way I came. So not there. Not there. Oh so here. <laughs> what? Did you come back to life? <laughs> Slap. But I did. Another one. Die. Oh, is that where I need to get? It probably leads to the same place, right? Oh. Maybe? Perhaps. Okay. Another puzzle? Bird. Bird. Whale. Whale. And anything else? Breath. What other? Oh, here we go. Snake. Make. Earn. I'll take that. Beast. Right. That's my objective. Is this where's portal's at?
Gotta sneak attack this, bruh. So I should be around. <laughs> YouTuber. Too heavy. That good? No, it's awful. Ooh, a grando. Magic empty. Should be if there's uh that stuff. Who is around? Oh. Ah! Should have killed you first. There we go. What's in your body? Ebony. Ebony? Drag. Steel. Very profound. Okay. Oh, don't want to step on that. Do I have the key for this? The dragon claw? <laughs> yes, you have it. The diamond one. Wolf, butterfly, dragon. Wolf, butterfly, dragon. What's back here? Probably something bad. What's around here? Oh, a word. A word wall. So yeah, that's where I would have... Maybe. Maybe not. What do you have in you? Money. Mr. Crab. What's around what? Wrath stool. That's probably an upgrade then. What's in you? Bone meal. Oh, what's in here then? Draga. What's this? An embalming tool? Is this the last door? Looks like it goes outside. How doing? Is that the portal? Is that the portal to Sovngarde? Enter Sovngarde? Wait, what is it? You stopped it! You! You dragon, dragon priest, bruh. I knew I'd meet you here. What? Die. There you go. Rip. Weak. 
skill issue. Oh, a dragon priest staff. Uh, magicka and spells. Did this cause a problem? Um, let me check something. Whatever. Um, I think I'm gonna call that an end. An end to this episode. Honestly, not a lot interesting happened because it was like all about that stuff it was like bruh but i'm not gonna stop recording i mean i am gonna end this episode but then i'm going to immediately start the next one recording the next one so i won't need to wait like forever before doing that i think i'll call that the end of this episode. Until next time, this is Confusionable. Signing off. Bro, what's that dude doing up? I be quit. Wow.